great. We were all having fun. Way to go, Jeff. Dirt bombs. Who threw the rock? I didn't know there was a rock in it. Yeah, it was a I dirt bomb with a rock <laughs> in it. I didn't know, right? <laughs> Fine, then, don't believe me. Don't believe me. No more <laughs> horrific scene than looking through the slats and the fans, picking your targets, and uh, seeing the, the mom or, God forbid, dad of the house that you're throwing it at. Let's like, come running out the back door. <laughs> run, Dick, run. Did you do the acorns? Collect the acorns? Yeah. We, you, you get to the point where you throw anything, anything that's on the ground. Right. Dirt bombs were great because Stick. as a kid, when they hit something, they <laughs> made that puff of smoke, and it was cool. It was like a bomb. And you had the off. one crazy kid would get, like, the cicada. Don't do that, Jake! That ain't funny! You ran from a cicada, you little faggot! Don't do that! He goes and picks up. Don't pick up! Ours was the nastiest thing. Doesn't even bite. You're such a pussy. Dick. You're such a piss. <laughs> Put it down, Tommy. It's not funny, man. I hated those things, though. They're on the side of the trees. Or you're just walking around the side. We go, is it dead? You give it a kick. <laughs> It's coming for you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I heard they're like bats. They get tangled in your hair. <laughs> Classic. We had a big uh, tree fort out there in uh, East Iceland, Long Island. Me and my brother... <laughs> East Iceland, Long Island. Why is that funny? The mean streets no, of East Iceland. No, because I just Iceland. got the vision. Damn. A cicada is like a bomb coming in. If you're like up in a tree like five <laughs> feet up, there's eight, ten of you, dude. Check out this plane. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> flying out the window. <laughs> Jimmy broke his arm. That's what happened. This yeah. kid broke his friggin' leg. <laughs> fell out of our tree fort. Wrecked the whole thing. So my father's like, tear it down. Dude. How you wrecked it, dick. <laughs> We but had the rock fights and the dirt bomb fights from yard to yard with the various forts. It's like a, you know, it's, it's like a little battle going on between uh, the kids in the neighborhood. No chicks. No. No. There no was chicks. an occasional tomboy that would kind of go around, but but uh, you kept her out of the battles. Well, we had a, we had like a playhouse in the back of, in the back of Phil's house. He had a playhouse. Dude, those playhouse things that were faggot. No, but like listen. treehouse, cool underground. When you had like the thing with the windows and the curtains and the dolls <laughs> inside, faggot. It's faggot unless you climb and sit on the roof, dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> we used to show up. I was such a dick. And I was a fat kid in a hand on the roof. And I'd go, Phil, put the chair like five feet out. <laughs> and I would risk my fat life at like 50 and jump over the chair just so like one of the twins would be like, oh, my God, he's cool. <laughs> Push it further. I can do it. <laughs> You're going to get hurt, Jim. Do it, faggot. Or I punch you. you. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, metal, for some reason, the metal sheds in the back that your pop kept his tools in I was never that. cool to hang out in either. No, because mom could see. There's too much stuff in there. Too much like dad dark. tools. Dark and too spider dark. webs. Yeah, open. yeah. yeah. Spider. spider webs and smell like gasoline. So you needed uh, your own spot. There's always a little creepy, too close space. Yeah. Space. Little kid, creepy. You're touching me. But the, the friggin' backyards, because I know there's some of my friends, they have the little sisters that had like the prefab little house with the curtains. They're like, dude, hang out in the clubhouse. It's not a clubhouse. It's an overgrown dollhouse faggot. <laughs> and I shan't be hanging out there. Unless you're on the roof. Go to the woods. I never went to the roof, but okay. I never thought about a second story on him being cool. JR, what's going on? <laughs> okay, what's going on, boys? Hey. Ruah. Hammer. Uh, listen, we, I live in Brooklyn. We dug the most dangerous forts possible. We used to have them run electrically by car batteries. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. God, why don't we think listen, of that? Listen, listen, we dig a hole. We have flashlights. It looked like a crater hit the earth. We cover it with guardrails and stolen car hoods. <laughs> and then cover <laughs> it with Brooklyn. Car. You know, Long Island. With dirt. You know something, you JR? Video. You uh, you point up a great thing. The difference. It's yep. the same, and it's the same, same final. 
problem you needed to solve. You wanted a fort underground. Right. Out on Long Island, we would go to the various uh, track housing sites that they would put up, and steal, steal the, the wood, yeah. steal the plywood, and whatever we could get, and make it out of that. Brooklyn over here is taking guardrails and car <laughs> trunk lids and hoods. You know, the good thing about it was, too, there was no brothers in my neighborhood, so they didn't get to come back there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough to look. Brew, you've been to my neighborhood. You filming a uh, crooked line down there? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. The last white yeah, neighborhood, the last nuts. white neighborhood in Brooklyn. I don't want to say it over the air because then everyone's going to find out where it is. White people are afraid in that neighborhood. Jeez, man. Yeah, boy, I tell you, that's that's a party town, and we took it underground. All right, Jr. Later. Thank you. Chris He's... wants to add to this. Chris, what's going on? Hey, listen, guys. I grew up in Seacliff, and it was this really pristine golf course, and we built one of these bunkers. The only. Hey, 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 I don't think this conversation requires vulgarity. So sorry. Uh, My bad. Try again. Without My the S. Nice language, did it? <laughs> I deserve that. So we used to run up onto the, the green and grab the golf balls and then run down into this bunker and disappear on the golfers. Like the Viet Cong <laughs> of the golf course. And the golfers. Oh, we, we hide in tunnels. They'd be Go to Cambodia where they cannot follow. And we just disappear on them. <laughs> Hey, Brewer. Yeah. Oh, he got you. Oh, Brewer. That's a new gag that they're pulling on everybody, and you're new to it. Bro. Dude, I, st I started that game, but you gotta get here's a bit. You got to get the person to say what. Right. That's true. You did say yeah in a question yeah. like form. <laughs> oh, I have to say it in a question? <laughs> I heard that it was Ask like me, a man. what in a yeah That's form. That's so gay. <laughs> Dude, you're gay for even to You're gay. <laughs> We get a per you're gay. We're, we're playing more games on our show, bro. Or Mark, right, what's man. going on? Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, hey man. I got through. He said, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Dude, were you listening? He's, he's, so, psyched. Oh, he's so psyched right now. The guy is psyched right now. <laughs> calling his calling aunt. all his friends. He probably has it on tape. Go to dot com. Yeah. Hit rewind. <laughs> Why? So he says, yeah, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Listen how freaking stupid he sounds. Watch, I'll rewind Brewer saying it and then ask him something different beforehand. Watch, because he said, yeah, like such a dick. Hey, Brewer, you a homo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick! Now I got him saying yeah on tape. Mark, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing, man. You got a bunch of dicks. It's going to be one of those days today. Hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> the cursing, howling monkeys have come out. What are you doing, Mark? Don't say the S word. Crap. I'm uh, sorry, guys. All right. What do you want to say? Norton, did you have a little... No, Norton. Brewer, did you have little tea parties in your playhouse on the island? <laughs> <laughs> it was on the roof, Dick. Yeah, on the roof. <laughs> it's cool on the roof. Yeah. It's cool on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, guys. You guys talk. I love that, man. He tries to defend it. <laughs> I know. You were in the little Sit right playhouse. Right on the point, man. It just looked down like Dick, the I was on the roof. roof. Mountain. Dick. Throwing snowballs at the cars. <laughs> you can see the next block. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's cool. That's right. That's cool in Big Thing. I don't know if we want to do this today. <laughs> Get a little bit of sight. You're so, he's bringing up things that are just like clicking <laughs> in my head. These families. It was a Remember huge that, man? deal, man. When, when, like, people decided they were getting rid of those cracking asbestos shingles. And the, the, the father, I mean, you're talking friggin' suburbia. The yeah. father looking outside the station wagon in the driveway. You know, I, Reading I mean, the siding with, a, with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect... Suburban American family, and he's decided, yeah, he's going for it. He's getting the aluminum siding, <laughs> and he's out there. The trucks are out there. It's a big neighborhood event to watch it happen. <laughs> Finally happens, and what? And how do the kids appreciate it, dude? I bet I could dent. See the see the row right <laughs> under Mary's bedroom window. The yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one. I will dent it with this friggin' rock. Never. Pang! <laughs> Pang! You'd run for like 20 feet and you realize no one, no one heard it. <laughs> run, run! And no, no one heard it. No one heard it. You see him out there hosing it down with his suburban dad friggin' hose attachment sprayer nozzle. And then when he gets to the dented thing, he'll just stop and shake his head and you know it's just damn kids. 
<laughs> I work, I break my back every day for this. Hey, you bananas, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Who's Christ, I pay taxes and you listen up, Tommy. You tell your father I know he's renting the Puerto Ricans. Who did it? And he's not paying taxes. It was the Mercandetti child, wasn't it? I'll talk to his father. And I was like, ah, oh, oh, he's in trouble. Run, 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 go in the bushes. Um, and spelling curse words in the, in the, the ribs. Yeah, the you see the, uh, when you had, used to have the window air conditioning units, and uh, you could just take your finger and write in the metal fins <laughs> that are sticking out because they're like the thinnest aluminum ever. So all you got, F... You. <laughs> There's this poor guy busting his somebody. hump to run his house with dented <laughs> aluminum siding and the F word written on every air conditioner hanging out his window. <laughs> and Brew is sitting on his faggy clubhouse in the back on the roof <laughs> while plane goes by. We look. <laughs> Holy crap, that one was low. We're under the pattern today. It seemed like it was landing there, right? I turn on the closed caption, I can't hear my programs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm writing a letter. This is ridiculous. And we are not having the Concord come over. And tomorrow now we're having a rally to keep that damn goddamn plane. This is ridiculous. We're in Long Island. The friggin' planes have been... Absolutely not. I am not living with this goddamn thing. Let the other, let the Jews over there and Hewlett deal with that. I'm not, I work too. Here comes the note. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ, the oil bird is backing up. Goddamn Concord. <laughs> they move into these neighborhoods where planes have been flying over since Lucky Lindy. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, now it's a problem. <laughs> you move there. Oh, what do you think? They stopped flying on the day you, you were shown the house? I, and it always resorts to this. I pay taxes. <laughs> and I'm just here to let you know I'm not... <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Concord Jesus, you killing me. I remember that. Oh, yeah. When they first started flying. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, dudes would come Dude. out of my blog. I swear to God, I lived on Hook Creek Boulevard. These jackasses would yell at each other and have to play. This is too low. Look at that goddamn thing. You're telling me that's regulation? <laughs> God damn. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, when that thing started flying, they thought the other one. Bad enough, the porch monkeys are getting closer and closer to our neighborhood. <laughs> Ma, if they can afford it, then yeah, but you don't do some house <laughs> Holy Jesus! Goddamn concord! Goddamn concord! <laughs> Oh, Long Island rules. <laughs> yeah, Long Island does rule. Bravo, Brewer. I haven't laughed that hard in, since the last time you were here. Now you know what that means? Oh. We can leave early sometimes in the very near future. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> we might take advantage of that tomorrow. Right. <laughs> sure. We're trying to adopt a baby in Florida. No, we're not. We don't care. Robin Fez, weeknights at 7 after Opie and Anthony. 1027. Mango. WNEW. When you're thinking about a compact SUV, what comes to mind? 